President Trump signing a national emergency declaration to get his border wall built. So we're going to confront the national security crisis on our southern border. And we're going to do it one way or the other. We have to do it. Not because it was a campaign promise, which it is. Candidate Trump promised his conservative base a wall, now showing them he's not backing down. But Democrats say they will fight this in Congress and in the courts. In a statement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said the president's unlawful declaration over a crisis that does not exist does great violence to our Constitution. National emergencies are usually declared after natural disasters or catastrophic events. I am concerned when any president regardless of party, circumvents the appropriations process and repurposes large amounts of money. The president wants $8 billion for the border wall, almost $1.4 billion from Congress's compromise bill, three point five billion from the Defense Department's military construction budget, another $2.5 billion from its drug interdiction program, and $600 million from the Treasury Department's drug fund. We're talking about an invasion of our country with drugs, with human traffickers, with all types of criminals and gangs. Already several state attorneys general are promising their own lawsuits. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News, Washington. Oregon Senator Ron Wyden is reacting to the president's emergency declaration. We caught up with him at a town hall this morning in Portland. What the president is proposing is a horrible, bizarre idea, and I will pull out all the stops to fight it. And Washington Representative Jamie Herrera Butler is also commenting. She said the emergency declaration sets a dangerous precedent. Her statement continues. Some conservatives may cheer today, but someday it's likely the shoe will be on the other foot. Our government is a system of checks and balances, and declaring an emergency in such a situation would undermine that system in a way that even those of us who support strong border security may later deeply regret. Stay with us on air and on KGW.com, as well as our KGW mobile app for updates on this story and more.